everybody. The Unicorn Pack is finally out. I'm so excited. Other than the Puppy Pack revamp, it has been over a year since a new pack has come out, and just off my initial day of playing, they knocked it out of the park. I normally try to read through all of the pets beforehand and guess what's going to be good, but this time I decided to go in completely blind and just figure out all the pets as I found them. And hopefully it'll make it easier to follow along with what's going on, as all the abilities are quite wild when compared to the other packs. Also, just a little bit of an update. I planned a vacation a while ago and it just so happens to line up with the release date of the Unicorn Pack, which is quite unfortunate timing, but for anyone anticipating the A to Z series to come back, I will be continuing A to Z around February 16th. Everything until then is just going to be the new pack just on my main account, not focusing on one particular pet each video, but just trying out the pack as a whole. Also, Twitch streams will be on pause until I get back, but YouTube videos should continue every day. So nothing super important, but I just wanted to give an update to let everyone know that A to Z will return. And intros for every video will return as well. But maybe not for the ones leading up to it, as I'm about to leave right after recording this intro. Also, alongside an entire new pack, there are 23 custom-only pets, making for 84 total new pets being added. But I just want to try out the Unicorn Pack specifically before trying out all of the custom ones. But anyways, if you like the video, like the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, we have Baku. If turn number is even, replace ailment on one random friend with plus two health. This is on sell. Why are we gonna have ailments on our team in the shop? Cuddle Toad, choose one witch toy that breaks after two turns. Let's choose a witch toy. Oh, on sell. I think we wait to sell. Bargast? Start a battle, make the last perkless enemy weak. Water of Youth, transform one pet into another from the same tier. I, want, I wonder if this keeps the level. That would be really cool. Okay, I'm fine with it. We'll be the big step family. Only about halfway done. Once I finish, I can send you Excel sheet on Discord if you want. Shoot me on Discord to remember. Okay, sounds good. I guess you don't want spoilers? Correct, no spoilers. I might need to uh, put this on 100 for now. Okay, we have Mermel. Friend level up, gain plus one, plus two attack until the end of battle. This is a temporary jellyfish. Axel ha Axe Handle Hound. If the enemy has multiple copies, deal 10 damage to one random. What? <laughs> so if they just have duplicates, it just does 10 damage? Uh, Suchinoko, jump to the front and gain plus one experience. Warg gains mana, deal one damage to random enemy. Sneaky egg, faint, start a battle, faint, and summon one, four, two, cracked egg. That seems good as well. Let's see if this 10 damage goes off. I feel like tier one, you're gonna have duplicates. Okay, never mind. We don't have duplicates. So we got a 4 2. Oh, hovering does pause it. I think that's kind of cool, though. I don't know if it's intentional. Oh, we also have day and night cycle. I'm not, I'm not even gonna look at those. Bigfoot. Faint, gain one free roll next turn. Okay, okay. All right, let's level up Sneaky Egg. We have Brain Cramp. Empty front space, jump to the front and gain plus two attack. And Melon Perk. Hmm. Hold on, let me turn down my Mario real quick. I gotta think. <laughs> Summon a level one treasure map that leads to a treasure chest. How's it going, sub? We 
We have the Mandrake. Make one tier two or lower faint enemy dazed. Prevent ability from activating. They added it. Interesting. Ouroboros, give unfrozen shot pets plus one health until the end of battle for each roll this turn. Temporary. A lot of temporary stuff. I like the Mandrake. How's it going, M God? Scooby fan. Gain Melon. Melon tier three? Oh, but I want the treasure. Sell, summon a level one treasure map. Break, summon a level one treasure chest. Our Boros, not your Boros? Oh. Sell, wait. So if I sell you, does this replace the treasure map? Because the treasure map's a toy? I think it will, so I'm going to wait. I'm going to keep you. Bunyip. Start a battle. Gain one health for each time you roll this turn up to three. That's pretty good. We're just going to keep this. You don't have duplicates? What are you? Fur-bearing trout. Give Rambutan perk to the nearest friend behind. Gain three mana before attack. Gains mana deal one damage. Okay. Okay, you give mana as well. Friend level up, gain one attack. Okay. Start a battle, make the two last... You're you're pretty good. For a tier one, I'm going to say it. You're pretty good. Okay. Mothman. Deal two damage to en one enemy with ailment. Okay, so this combos Mandrake with Mothman. Frostwolf. Make the first enemy cold. Take five damage once. Okay, there have been no duplicates for Axe Handle Hound to go off. You also had a Gingerbread Man. Break stock one free pet from tier two as a 4-4 level. What? Wall chicken. Give one pet plus three attack and a weak. Interesting. Minotaur. Friend ahead attacks gain plus one plus one health for each. So like if I go Mandrake here. Give the nearest one ahead plus one mana for each roll this turn. Yeah, so if I level up here. Okay, hold on. There's I got a lot. I got just right porridge. Give one pet plus two to their lowest stat. That's kind of cool. We've seen Mermel. We have Thunderbird. Give the front friend three mana. Friendly level up, gain one extra shop reward. Wyvern's pretty good. We have Visitor. Make all pets within one space exposed. Take double damage twice. Oh, there's so many ailments. And then we have Cyclops. Friend levels up. Give it plus two mana and plus one experience. So I'm going to use Fountain of Youth on you. Friend ahead attacks. Gain plus two for each of the friend's levels. I'm going to save Cyclops. So it does keep the level. Also, Axe Handle Hound has not proven to be good at all. <laughs> no duplicates. Gingerbread. Gain one experience for battle. That's just pug ability. I mean, you're going to be... Yeah, you're going to be a little good. Let's see. Uh, gotta level up you, I think. Actually, let's see. Give one pet the fair dust perk. Jump to the front when empty. Plus one experience. Friend level up. We still can't sell Cuddle Toad because we have this thing. 
You have mana now. Oh, what is this? Worm of sand. Roll six times. Give the two highest to your friends. Tiger bug. Jump to the front. Deal three damage to the first two enemies. Worm of sand? I kind of like. Health potion. Give one pet the health potion perk. Gain plus three health for each level before battle. Pair that with Yeti? Yeah. Callie Greyhound. Spin mana to remove one health per mana from the two most healthy enemies. Okay, I think I don't go mana this time around. It seems too complicated <laughs> at the moment. We got a Loch Ness Monster in a bathtub. It's okay, we're good. And then we get the treasure chest to go off. There's so much going on. Okay, treasure chest goes off. We have a level three, tier two. Start a battle, give the front spend nine mana. Give me this. That's not that great. Also, I don't know if it's intentional, but I, it was level two. So I guess the level might not matter. Or I guess it lasts for four turns. Start a battle. Give the frontmost friend plus nine mana. Maybe I don't care about Worm of Sand. I would like something that has... That takes advantage of mana. Skeleton Dog. Give one random friend. Permanent plus one. Okay, on faint. Do I want to transform? I think I'm going to go around mana now. I know I said I wasn't going to do mana, but now I'm going to do mana. So let's roll for stuff that takes advantage of mana. What is this? Remove two attack from one path and give it five health. The drink me liquid. Um, no. Anything mana related. Eat me cake. Remove two health. Okay, so that's, this is like just better or worse broccoli and fried shrimp. Mana. Start about remove 20% health from all other pets. Excuse me? I mean, sure. I'll try it out. Give one pet that. Yeah, give you the Easter egg, because then you'll summon. You'll go off even more. Swallow and copy the leftmost startup. Oh, until end of battle. Okay. So you don't seem that wild. Spin mana to give the nearest friend behind. Plus one. Maybe for now? Okay, I know I just bought you. But w what if we do this? Start a battle. You faint. You give you like 10 mana. 10 health. And then you go crazy. And you're removing health from everything. Yeah, nine mana. And then you die, you give nine health. And then, yeah, you're just going to be huge. And then we got a little, got a little bunny rabbit. All right, we're feeling good. Feeling good. Make all pets exposed, take double damage twice. Cyclops, uh, not, not too big on you at the moment. What is going on here? Spin mana to summon one pet with plus one attack. Mana per hell. Okay, okay, so we go. Take three less damage. Look at the little ghost kitten. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. All right, we're going Chimera. That seems like the good... Okay, prioritizes health first. That seems like a good mana pet right now. 
Give the nearest friend ahead plus one mana for each roll this turn. We're not rolling much. Deal two damage for each one of... Huh. The Tatzel Worm. That's kind of good. Start a battle, give experience. All right, I think we, we got Thunderbird I'm happy with right now. And now we do something like this. Okay, what we got? We got spend mana uh, to gain... Okay, you gain three gold. Make two less. The last... The non-perk stuff seems good. Because there's not early perks, at least. I guess there's a little bit. You get mana. It says Abomination's doing nothing. Enemy gained ailment. Deal 60. What? Gain damage as health? Excuse me? Okay, so that's a good combo. Too bad we're winning. How's it going, fishing, bro? Give one pet the Yggdrasil fruit perk. Summon two, three, three Nordic goats after fainting. Give one pet six mana. I assume this is temporary. Uh, and I don't think we need it. We're going mana. Choose one level one toy that brings doom and chaos. I enjoy doom and chaos. Give all pets random perks and ailments. Empty front space. Summon one six six old one in battle that deals. Let's do Pandora's box. I wonder if this goes from all packs. I need mana related things. Skin. For Oh, but you only work one time a turn. You know what? I don't, I, I don't know. We'll try it. We'll try Pandora's Box Unicorn Bad Dog. And then... We can go ahead and wall chicken. But I don't know what we're keeping. Maybe I keep you. But now Pandora's box is just kind of... Who knows? What is that hump and lion? No, it's, it's a chimera. I also don't know if that's what a chimera actually is. But... Let's see. So, okay. So, it's... It's ailments and perks from every single pack, is what it seems. Gains mana, deal one damage to three enemies. Gain two health for each time you rolled. Okay, you rolled zero, and I know what those are, but that's a lot of mana. It doesn't go off multiple times, so that's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we're good. Yes. <laughs> Chocolate's in the bag. <laughs> I love how everything's mythical and there's just a chocolate bar. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's level you up. We'll see what happens. Spin mana summon two pets. Okay. Have you not looked at the whole pack? I haven't looked at it at all. Friend level up. Give friends plus one attack. That's pretty good. Faint. Make any three random pets crisp. Maybe it's time you go. Do we want team spirit? Or do we want phoenix? Four squad? Why is it four squad? I mean, this is just, I just, I mean, I guess, yeah, because you get front pet. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe. We'll see. Chris, thank you for the one year.
Yeah, it sucks you have to be in front. Okay, you got the sleep near. Start a battle. Give frontmost friend. Okay, so they, they changed the sleep near from the original teaser. The sleep near was busted originally, wasn't it? They, like, dealt damage. I'm, I'll look at you later. <laughs> Wow. Let's see. Empty front space summons a 8-8 fire pup up front. Let's see. The crisp is kind of good. Maybe I get rid of these. It seems like we're going some type of summon pack. <laughs> Behemoth. Gain two attack and two health. Attack and health can go up to 100. This is what we've been waiting for. We knew it was coming. The behemoth? We have no huge scaling, so I don't know. I think we stick with the summon package. Roll three times while freezing duplicate pets. You know what? I'll do it. I also think we might get rid of the chimera. I wish you would take up two spaces. Yeah, I know. All right, Cerberus. Actually, no, let's, let's not do Yeti. We still want the summon. Hydra, summon one five five head for each 10 attack. We talked about this too. But does anything benefit off of summons is the question. Spin mana, deal two damage per mana to the most healthy. Okay. If turn, gain 100%. I think I'm just, I'm sticking, I'm sticking with to my guns. Get plus one, plus one for each pet of immortality. This could, this will be good. Give one pet magic beans. Sure, I don't know what that does. I'll give you the beans. And then you gain a golden egg next turn. Oh, wait, you have scaling. How do you have scaling? How are, how are you scaling? Give one random tier three or lower friend plus two experience triggers three times. I mean, you are giving them experience. I don't know. Okay, that's the Cerberus summon. Everything is crisp. Hmm. Probably sold the scaler. Seems like it. Golden egg. Deal five damage before attacking once. Also sells for three gold. Oh. Hmm. Choose one free tier six food to stock from all packs. Interesting. Cornucopia is kind of cool. There we go. That's what we want. We want level up on you. All right, you have a lot of mana, so you summon huge things. Also, what is that? Oh, that's the Rambutan. 
Those summons are huge. Cerberus, okay. Works two times per turn. More summons, why not? Uh, two, well, two, three, three Nordic goats. I do like the experience, but maybe I, maybe I, maybe I don't. Give you more mana. Yeah, I'm just going to try and let these summons carry me to victory. You're going to summon two five fives. It's just a head. I guess it's one ten ten. The summons off the mana is cool. It is. Because if I get you level three, that's like so strong. Transfer all friendly mana Plus two to the nearest friend ahead. It's kind of good as well. I think I'm looking for more peaches. Looking for level ups. That's all I really want. You're really hoping for that duplicate behemoth is huge. What are we supposed to do? Oh, it's close. Level up there. Enemy ailments are two times worse. I mean, that would be good. I think I need the level up here. There it is. Spin man, no. Let's see what the dogs got for us. We got the book. Let's see what it does. I hope this goes first before the book. Oh, I guess there's not a front space. Yeah, you're summoning big boys now. That was close. <laughs> Okay, okay. It seems like... Okay. I was going to say, it seems like scaling is really good, but hard to come by in this pack. But we'll see. Maybe we, like people just don't know how to do it yet. I'm going to still not look at stuff. I mean, you were strong. Four twos? I like both of these. Will be the tired swimmers. Never mind. We have been axe handle hounded. I guess it doesn't matter. Are there no snipers? There's sort of snipers, it seems. Okay. I think still, we, like, tier ones, you don't really care about the abilities too much. You just want level ups. We get a bunch of four twos. You already have the dragon in the bathtub? Give experience. Maybe we try a jump-oriented team. 
that weakness gets us. Mana and Scorcher Snipe effects? True. Double Bigfoot. You know what? Maybe we go roll, roll based. Roll team. We sell you. I like the broom. Free roll, free roll, roll. Until end of battle. That's still weird. Yeah, and then yeah, we want we want the sandworm. Jump gain two experience. That's pretty good. Spin mana. Let's see. No, take three dislike. I mean, ghost kitten's kind of cool. We're not gonna go it at the moment, but. Gain one health for each time you roll this turn. Okay. Roll build. If it says roll, we buy it. Well, I want you to die so I get rolls. We have been axe handle hounded. Okay. I can already say right now, I hate this pet. <laughs> Let's see. Another one of you. Um, no roll. Friendly level up, gain one extra shop reward. You know what? I'm all for it, I think. Tier one, they can do 30 damage. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Nothing whatsoever. Yeah, we're not even going to touch customs today. Okay, so we get two extra shop rewards here. Holy moly. And we get the sandworm. Not even going to look at the other pets. Temporary stats, forget about it. I think I think level two I'm happy with. We weren't able to roll. <laughs> okay, we're gonna lose here. Maybe roll's not that great. Let's see, level up you, four level up rewards. Summon one Nessie with plus two, plus two for each roll this turn. Okay, roll. You are a roll pet. We are on lethal. That's not that good. <laughs> you know? Worm of sand does not seem that great. <laughs> but when you have two yetis, that's true, that's true.
Can we get a big net? <laughs> what? Just a boat? Can we come back from lethal is the question. Um, maybe you? We'll level up next turn, try and hit the Yeti. It's tier four. Oh, is it? I mean, I like the big boat. Yeah, Yeti's tier six. Or you, or you were asking if Yeti was. But we should hit it. We have four chances. Yeah, there you are. Summon. Any other good roll pets? Wow, look at that scaling. The double damage twice is pretty good. We're still alive. We have to level up you. No Yeti. I was really hoping we hit Yeti there. We're not even going to roll enough. Didn't even find any. We survive. Oh, thank goodness. All right, we need Yeti. What is this? Transform one pet into another from a higher tier. Well, that's not good. Oh, that would have been good with the alien we just had. <laughs> this scaling's not that great. Hornet, thank you for the sub. Also, Crash, thank you for the two. I think I missed that. Okay, you get pepper, we get a bunch of junk. We're alive. I'm realizing this new pack is basically job security. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of videos, that's for sure. I just want another Yeti. And Yeti is not really providing for us. I, sp I stand corrected. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Ooh, this is scary. We may have enough stats, though. And then big boat. Oh, <laughs> big boat. Oh, big boat. What in the world?
Wait. We can just get two of these, right? Double big boat? The Kraken's pretty cool. How'd you die? What is going on? The Yeti's getting scaled. We just need one more level up on this thing. And then we just need good foods, I think. Yeah, you think your combo's strong? I mean, I guess we just take you to level three. I do want some better held foods. And I guess also, I need two level three to make you more worth it. Or I can just roll three times. Jmash, thank you so much for the six months. Also, tier three, just in general, that is a very good pet. Yeah, I want the, yeah, cornucopia. Conpito? I don't know what that is. I love how many rolls we're getting. We're not finding a ton of stuff, honestly. Okay, okay, and then you're going to do 50 damage? Or you pass it back? It's okay, though. We have big boat. I think we don't care about these. Right? We just want better held food. Okay. Transform to one pet higher. But does it remove the stats? It does not. One random tier three or lower friend plus two experience triggers two times. Um, so maybe it'll give it one of these level three. We'll see. Wait, what? End of turn, give one. Oh, tier three. Okay, never mind. I mean, we got, we got the two big boats. Doesn't even matter. 